access to the judicial records of the Khmer Rouge trials and civil party materials and the legal documentation center related to the ECCC. The political lawyers and the WSS initiated discussions in 2013 with the regular government of Cambodia through the ECCC Office of the Administration, resulting in the Council of Ministers of the Kingdom of Cambodia proposing a project, access to the judicial records of the Khmer Rouge trials and civil party materials, and a legal documentation center related to the ECCC as a proposed judicial reparation award in case 002. The LDC has created a repository of publicly available documents free of charge related to pro proceedings and civil party participation at the ECCC. Public events will be held to raise awareness of this of the history of the Democratic Campuchia through civil party experiences. A full list of civil parties in case 002 will be displayed, and their oral testimonies and public documents will be made available. The project benefits civil parties by providing access to the judicial records related to the Khmer Rouge trials and by facil facilitating access and dissemination of the publicly available civil party and court documents to the public and younger generations consistent with victims' right to satisfaction and access to justice as provided for by the basic principles on remedy and reparation thereby also benefiting a, a larger number of unrepresented victims. On 6 October 2016, the director of the LDC was invited to present the project to 230 civil parties at a civil party forum and uh, received uh, their views. On 17 March 2017, 150 civil parties were invited to the LDC for a civil party forum where they were provided the opportunity to tour the facility and were introduced to the project's activities. The project is fully funded by the Royal Government of Cambodia through the national budget. The LDC facility has already been constructed through funding provided by the Embassy of Japan. Some projects are part of the rehabilitation. Rehabilitation and reparation measures includes access to medical and psychological care. Civil parties have repeatedly indicated that access to psychological and physical health services was one of the main concerns. As presented in the HAM sections, following each chapter in part four of the closing brief, civil parties described their desire for mental and physical health care as a result of the crimes indicted in case 002 02. The lead co lawyers consider that the following project gives effect to the reparation measure of rehabilitation and provides benefits to the civil parties for the harm suffered as a result of alleged crimes. In case 002 02, I request that the Chamber endorse the project as a judicial reparation award. And this is the 11th project. It is about healing and reconciliation for survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime. 
the Transcultural Psycholo Psychosocial Organization Cambodia, TPO, TPO Cambodia. designed the proposed reparation project, healing and reconciliation for survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime in collaboration with the Karana and with the support of the lead co lawyers and VSS. The project will provide trauma healing to civil parties and survivors of the Khmer Rouge regime in 15 provinces. The project will, one, provide access to mental health services, two, provide interventions using truth-telling and reconciliation events, and three, provide capacity development for project staff and local facilitators in each com community. Trauma healing will include on-site and telephone counseling, self-help groups, and testimonial therapy. Truth telling and reconciliation activities, including community dialogues, memory initiatives, forum theater, and youth outreach activities, aim to both educate and to enhance empathy for survivors of torture. The project is to be implemented for a period of three years, beginning in August 2016 and concluding in August 2019. The project will provide direct benefits to civil parties who have suffered from torture, including Jam Muslims, survivors of gender-based violence and survivors of forced labor. For example, and elaborated in Annex 11.2, 45 civil parties are estimated to receive direct benefits from testimonial therapy, and 50 civil parties are estimated to benefit from self-help groups. TPO presented the project to 150 civil parties and a civil party forum held at the LDC on 17 March 2017. Funding for the project has been fully secured by USAID. Uh, so far, we have 11 projects which are supported by both the lead co-lawyers for civil parties and which are fully funded. And as the international lead co-lawyer uh, made during her presentation for projects which are not uh, funded or does not uh, secure fund are not presented here. And we will try to find additional funding until uh, November of this year. And finally, the international lead co-lawyer would like to uh, request enfin, Mr. President for a minute to uh, speak uh, about the final part of this presentation. President, yes, uh, you may proceed. Je vous remercie, Monsieur Thank le Président. You, Mr. Juste President. Une uh, just asking a minute of your time to present the project to you. And I'd like this project to be acknowledged de, de by the Chamber as an appropriate reparation project uh, in de, de, uh, case 2.2. This is a project that is called Civic and Legal Education for Civil Parties Coming from Ethnic Minorities. Uh, Le partenaire and, uh, qui a développé ce projet est l'organisation non gouvernementale MIRO, Miro Minority, Rights Minority Rights Organization. Ce projet and a project, été développé uh, et conçu en étroite collaboration avec les avocats des parties civiles civil victimes du traitement des Vietnamiens de souche. Vietnamese victims, projet, and this project um, a à the purpose of this project is to allow the civil parties of Vietnamese origin to receive information, leur permettant de mieux allowing them to better understand their legal status 
au regard de la loi cambodgienne. C'est un projet qui a été développé, comme je le disais, en collaboration avec les avocats des parties civiles d'origine vietnamienne. 39 parties civiles ont été invitées à une consultation à Kampong en août 2015 et ces 39 parties civiles ont souhaité que ce projet soit mis en œuvre et 29 parties civiles ont d'ores et déjà bénéficié de ce projet puisque ce projet a déjà été mis en œuvre. Ce projet est financé par GIZ. Je vous remercie, M. le Président. Je remercie la Chambre de son attention et les avocats des parties civiles ont terminé leur présentation. Thank you. Le Président. The chamber will adjourn its proceedings uh, for today now and uh, resume tomorrow. That is the 14 of June 2017, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. For tomorrow's the proceedings, the chamber continues to hear the closing statements by parties in case 02-02. And the floor will be given to the co prosecutors so please be informed. Security Soyez personnel, you are instructed to take notice and kill some court back to the detention facility of the ECCC and bring him back to the courtroom tomorrow before 9 o'clock. The court is now adjourned.